What's up fellow bookworms and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan and tonight I'm going to be staying in a New York City library. Well, sort of. I'm going to be spending the next two nights in the library hotel located off Madison Avenue in Manhattan, New York, New York, and I am so excited to be here. This is by far the coolest and the cutest hotel I have ever seen. If you didn't assume based off of the title, the entire hotel is designed to just represent an older style library, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Each room is dedicated to a certain genre of books. We happen to be in the dinosaur room tonight, which I think is just super cool. So I'm so excited to show you guys this hotel, all the amenities that they have, and just share this awesome experience with you guys. And of course, you can't stay at the library hotel without doing at least a little bit of reading. Hello, this is Dylan from the future, and I just wanted to let you know that I cracked the code on time travel just so I could go back in time and let you know that this is the book that I am reading in this video. Uh, I never actually mentioned it when I was recording this video, but I am reading The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman in this video while I stay at the library hotel. All right, I will drop you guys back off at your proper place in the timeline of the universe, but I just wanted to let you know. Like I said, we were staying in the dinosaur room, which was located on the fifth floor, which was the math and science floor. And I really loved that at the library hotel, each floor was dedicated to a certain genre or subgenre of books. I thought that was a really unique touch and really added to the feeling of being in a library. As you can see, the room was extremely spacious and really modern and up to date. This is not the norm for a New York City hotel room, at least in my experience. And the attention to detail in this room was absolutely incredible. There was a neat little collection of dinosaur books that had been curated for the room, and there was also some dino decor, which really added to the ambiance and the experience of the room. Of course, the room had all the amenities that you would expect, and then some. They even left me a handwritten note, which was just absolutely phenomenal, and I really, really appreciated that. My favorite thing about this room though was honestly probably the bathroom. It was very spacious and very up to date. After we checked into the hotel, we headed straight to Central Park, which was quickly becoming one of our favorite places in New York City. We had gone the day prior and really enjoyed it and knew that we had to go back. This time we checked out the reservoir, which is kind of located right in the middle of the park. We walked around the loop a little bit and then we were off to look for a nice comfy place to read for a while. After a little bit of searching, we found the perfect spot. I think it was a Saturday we were there and it was quite busy, but I had an opportunity to get a little bit of reading done in the Thursday Murder Club, and I really, really enjoyed what I had read so far. So the main public library is right down there, but on this street, which I think is 41st Street, there's something called the Library Walk, and it's actually pretty long. This is like the halfway point and it goes all the way to the end of the block, but I thought that was pretty cool. to Bryant Park, which was only a couple blocks away from the hotel. It was super convenient to get to. They were having their annual Winter Village, which is a really neat little market, actually a big market, where they have tons of booths, lots of food, and just some really unique handcrafted items from some local shops and creators. We honestly feel like we didn't get to see and experience everything at this market just because it was so big and so busy. But what we did see, we really, really enjoyed. And they even have ice skating, which was something that we didn't get to do, but looked really fun. And then for dinner, we got some Brazilian empanadas, which were absolutely delicious, would highly recommend, so much so that we actually went back another night and got some more. <laughs> 
So during the upload process, YouTube actually copyrighted this part because there was some background music playing. But basically in this part, I'm just telling you that we're hanging out in the reading room. There are some amazing snacks and refreshments available and that it was my favorite part of the entire hotel. It's a shame that I can't play the audio for this clip, but I so, so enjoyed my time in this area and highly recommend that you check it out if you're staying at the library hotel. So even though I am reading the Thursday Murder Club, I thought I may as well check out some of the books that are in the room. I've always kind of liked dinosaurs, you know, I've watched Jurassic Park a few times. So I checked out this book, The Day of the Dinosaur, looked at some of the pictures, and it was actually pretty interesting. And then I was super surprised to see that they had a classic copy of Jurassic Park. This is a book that I have always wanted to read, but I haven't read it yet. I know that I'm not going to be able to read it in the two days that we're staying here. Um, I obviously would never steal the book from the room, of course, though I, I might have thought about it for a half second. But of course, I would not do that. I will purchase the book for myself like a responsible person, but I was pretty excited to see that they had that book, and I do love the cover. It just looks like a classic Michael Crichton book. So that wraps up day one. I am so glad and so excited to be here. In the morning, we are gonna go check out the restaurant that is attached to this hotel, Madison and Vine. We're gonna have breakfast there and then set out on our adventures for day number two of staying here at the library hotel. I'm gonna check out for the night and I will see you guys in the morning. We were uh, a little late getting up the day we went down for breakfast. So we were like the last people to squeak in just in time for breakfast, but I'm so glad that we made it because breakfast here was absolutely delicious. As you can see, the menu is very well rounded and all the options sounded absolutely fantastic. There was even a nice little view of the street as we ate, which was really nice as well. We both ordered the French toast and it was absolutely delicious. We both enjoyed it so, so much. It was some of the best French toast we think we've ever had. So if you're near the library hotel or especially if you're staying here, I highly recommend checking out Madison and Vine for breakfast and if not for breakfast, at least for lunch or dinner. So now we're gonna head over to Grand Central Station to check out the Christmas decorations and then we're gonna stop by the main public library just to check it out before we go about finishing or starting, I guess, the rest of our day. Grand Central Station was only a couple minutes walk from the hotel. I think we could actually see it from our hotel room and it looked really nice decorated for the holidays. It really is as grand as they say. It was really, really impressive. Something that you just have to see in person. They also had a little Christmas holiday market of their own going on, but in our opinion, it was not nearly as interesting as the one at Bryant Park. <laughs> Then we walked over to the library, which again was just a couple blocks away, and we were really surprised to see that this was actually more like of a museum than a library itself. They had some really interesting exhibits on display that we were able to check out, which we really, really enjoyed. So this is the library in our hotel. It's just about a block that way. This is the library where you can actually check books out. And then that is the research library, the pretty library.
From the library, we hopped on the subway and headed for the Brooklyn Bridge. This is another thing that you definitely just have to see for yourself to truly appreciate. It was such a beautiful day. So we walked across the Brooklyn Bridge into Brooklyn, which is a place that we had never been before, and checked out one of the most popular neighborhoods in Brooklyn called Dumbo. We really enjoyed our time in Dumbo. We ended up eating lunch here, and then we were off to check out some of the best bookstores in Brooklyn. After a long day of walking around Brooklyn and checking out all the bookstores there, we headed up to the rooftop bar at the library hotel called Bookmarks and just enjoyed our evening. Neither my wife and I drink, but they had some really great virgin options that we really enjoyed. And we just hung out here and enjoyed the night, read a little bit, and just took it all in. Oh, and the food was absolutely incredible. These sliders were amazing. And the view definitely wasn't bad either. It's a wrap at our time staying at the Library Hotel in New York City. I want to say thank you so much to the Library Hotel for sponsoring this video and for letting us stay here. It was an absolutely amazing experience that I 10 out of 10 would do again and will do again the next time we're in New York City. I didn't quite make it very far in the Thursday Murder Club. I didn't really expect to get super far. I will finish that book when I get home and provide a quick little review at the very end of this video. But for now, it's time to check out. I will catch up with you guys when I get home and finish the Thursday Murder Club. So I'm at home now and I have had time to finish the Thursday Murder Club and let it stew for a little while. And I just wanted to offer some final thoughts as we close out this video. If I was to try to summarize this book in one word, I think that word would just be fun. I had a really good time reading this book and I enjoyed kind of following along as the characters tried to solve this murder. The only couple complaints that I have about this book, which I'll share now, that way we can end on kind of a high note as we talk about the things I did like. But really my complaints about this book were that there were just a unnecessary amount of characters I felt like. It was hard to try to keep up with who everyone was, especially because I did take my time with this book. Had I read it in a day or two, it probably would have been easier to keep up. But, you know, when you read a couple chapters, put the book down and then pick it up a day later, you just kind of, at least I do, forget some things that happened, which kind of leads me to my second complaint, which is actually something I started out liking, and that is that the chapters in this book are almost too short. I'm a fan of shorter chapters. That way you can just kind of take a break when you're ready to take a break. You don't have to spend four hours reading one chapter before you can feel like there's a natural break. You know, if a chapter is two or three pages, usually I like that, but in this book, because each chapter followed a certain character or a certain character's viewpoint, it just kind of felt like a lot of jump cuts were being made, I guess. We would get someone's perspective, but for only like two pages, and then we would jump back to a perspective that we hadn't heard from in like five chapters. So it was just really hard to keep up at times. But all in all, those are really my main complaints about this book. I, like I said, had a fun time reading it and I enjoyed the mystery aspect of it. And I really don't feel like it was too predictable. I was kind of surprised at the end. I won't say any more than that, but I did enjoy the end. I thought it was pretty well done. And what I probably really enjoyed the most about this book was the humor aspect. So we're following some geriatric crime solvers, amateur crime, crime detectives in this book, which is just kind of a funny concept in and of itself. And the characters were a real delight. Though I do feel like the cast could have been thinned down a little bit with some of the side characters and the supporting cast. I feel like all the main characters, which were the individuals who lived at this retirement community called Cooper's Chase, were really funny and just enjoyable to read about. I do feel like we kind of only got a surface level understanding of their characters. You know, I feel like the characters were defined at the beginning and then really didn't change much throughout. So like, for example, we've got the funny character, we've got the kind of reclusive character, we've got, you know, just some stereotypical characters, and they kind of just stay that way throughout, which 
is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is something that I maybe would have liked to see as far as a little bit more character development. But again, all in all, the characters were fun and enjoyable, as was the story itself. So I would recommend this book. I actually have a really sweet wife who bought the second book in the series for me already. So I'm hopefully going to be able to read this one soon-ish, uh, maybe before the decade is out, I will get to book two. And then maybe sometime before I die, I'll be able to read book three, but no promises. Um, so yeah, I would recommend The Thursday Murder Club. I did enjoy it. I, like I said, I had a couple minor critiques, but all in all, it was a fun story. And if you like murder mysteries with a side of humor, I would recommend The Thursday Murder Club. Thank you so much for watching this video and a huge thank you again to the Library Hotel for sponsoring this video. My wife and I truly, truly enjoyed our time there and we are so looking forward to going back at the next opportunity. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.